What I wanted to show you is a technique for cleaning your optical drives if they're dirty. I was trying to reinstall the operating system in this Dell and you can see it has two optical drives. The top one is a DVD and the bottom one is a CD burner. And I put this Windows Dell recovery disk in the drive to attempt to reinstall the operating system in this computer and the optical drive just wasn't reading the disc. The door seems to work just fine in and out and when you put the disc in it hesitates and the light comes on but nothing physical happens on the computer itself and I'm in my computer right now and none of these discs show any activity. So what's going on here more than likely is the optical drive has gotten dirt on the lens and it cannot read properly. There's still activity going from the computer to the optical drive itself. It knows it's there but when the lens is dirty it just can't read. So I've had this product for quite a while and I've, I've used the heck out of this disc. This is a Philips laser lens cleaner and you can use this on just about any kind of optical drive, DVD, CD, Blu-ray. And it, its method of working is very simple. And there are a lot of optical drive cleaners on the market, but I think this is the best one. This doesn't use any chemicals or sprays or liquids. It's just a brush. And there's actually two of them. And maybe you can see it. Just comes off the surface of the disc probably about an eighth of an inch on each side and there's two of them and when this disc gets dirty I just blow it off with compressed air and then use it again I've had this disc for probably five years and it's worked very well it's very easy to use all you do is open your optical drive with your computer on put it in the drive and close it and then wait for it to come on. Now if your drive is really really dirty you might have to eject the disc and then put the disc back in and this will force it to turn slightly so you can get it started and clean the, the laser off just a little bit to get it going there are instructions as well as audio tracks on this Philips disc that help you to manage the cleaning and you know that when you can hear the audio as well it is now working as far as the disc is concerned so I just popped it in again and you can see now it's listed down at the bottom here is an audio CD and I can click on this and this should open up in Windows Media Player which it does and it will begin playing let me turn my speaker on here so you can hear what it says I gotta plug it in sorry I didn't have it plugged in there we go in just a matter of seconds this disc will safely and thoroughly clean the delicate laser lens of your compact disc player. Now it's a little cheesy. During the brief 20 second cleaning cycle, every bit of dirt and dust, right down to the smallest particles of airborne pollutants, will be swept away from the laser lens of your swept CD player. Away. After this cleaning, your CD player will be more precise when reading the digital data. So it takes about 20 seconds. Disc, providing you with outstanding reproduction as well as added you can see there's activity detail. here going on when you hear the tone skip ahead to track four to begin the cleaning cycle okay so i'm going to have to go to track four here in a second that'll move the head over get my mouse ready right here okay so here's the tone let's go to track four it's just another audio the laser lens cleaning process is now concluded 
To maintain your CD player's so that's constant it. sound quality, your system's laser lens should be cleaned after every 10 hours of use. So I'm going to take you the disc out stop. now. That's it. I just wanted to show you that that is a very quick and easy way to clean your optical drives. There's other brands besides this Philips laser lens cleaner, but this is the one that I use and I've had this for over five years and it's worked well. So I know this was a short little video, but I hope you got some use out of it. It's always a good idea to have one of these optical drive cleaners around. You can always use a small brush, but this is very convenient. It seems to last forever. So good luck with yours. I wish you the best. See you soon. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.